Hello, my name is Rampant Mystic and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Today we have a daily to run. Oh, no we don't. We have an ascension to run. I actually got a bit confused there. Oh well, happens. Anyway, it's the 1st of January. We have an ironclad ascension 4? Yeah, 4 to run. Bosses are deadlier. Happy New Year. May it bring you a lot of good tidings. Anyway, let's slay the spire today. Obtain a random uh, common relic. Uh, choose a card, remove two cards, obtain a boss relic. Probably gonna be common. Uh, Dreamcatcher is not a really good relic to get, but it's something. Several question marks, two rest, so two upgrades. A lot of question marks. No elite though if I go this way, but if I go this way I get a couple of extra rests, which means a lot of upgrades. So that's where we're gonna go. In all likelihood. Yeah, that's where we're going. Hey, hopefully uh, you had a good New Year's Eve. You know, did a lot of things, got really drunk. And if you are drunk, the doctors uh, recently recommend that you stay at home and drink a lot of fluids and, well, watch Rampant Mystic Let's Plays. Because apparently they have, uh, they have an effect on the body for some reason. And on the mind. I don't know what exactly, but doctors say they're really healthy for you. So yeah, listen to the doctors, they know better. We're gonna pick up a cleave here. So yeah, uh, that was a bit of self-advertising, and we're gonna pick up the max HP here. No curse, thank you. Yeah, sure, gold for health. Okay. Uh, I yeah I did get a cleave. I should have double defended here, but didn't, don't really need to that much. Yeah, I was hoping for a bash here. Bash is on the bottom of the deck. Yep. Bash strike. Yep, we have it. Fruit juice. Okay, so extra max HP. We have a lot of max HP. We can go slightly more aggressive. Basically, uh, I'm gonna upgrade the cleave. It's important. I don't even know what the fight is. Yep, Slime King, so picking up and upgrading the AoE is really good idea. And here we anger the mushrooms. Even if you take a bunch of damage in this fight, at the very least you get the mushroom. Which is insane. Gonna single defend here. Should I split the damage? Yeah, I should. I'll have cleave soon. At most in uh, two turns. Or at best, this turn. So I can't kill any one of them, so I should just defend. Next time Cleave rolls up, they they all die. Yep, there it is. So I only took a little bit of damage, got the odd mushroom, which is really worth. And got some cards, but... I mean, we do need a high impact card, but this is actually not one of them. I already have Cleave, so I'm not gonna pick up Whirlwind. Uh, Sword Boomerang. Superman is not that much damage. Not unless you have strength, which we do not have. So I guess we're skipping here. And here we're gonna upgrade the bash. Extra turns of vulnerability. It's really good. Question card? Mm, yes, no, maybe, possibly. I'm gonna take it for now. Remove or heal? Remove. Of course remove. We're removing a strike here. Might actually go for this late. Depends on... Uh, actually, what does it depend on? Yeah, we're going for it. Second cleave... Uh, I mean, second cleave is generally not a good idea. It's way too many cleaves. I'm gonna pick up a twin strike. We'll see what we pick up in the shop. We might actually go for it. Pentagraph is actually really good. It'll help me heal after the uh, elite fight. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up probably. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. I normally wouldn't pick it up, but I want to go for this fight. And Pentagraph is gonna help me heal. Oh good, we're running an Ironclad against the Gremlin Knob, so... And we do have a couple of upgraded cards. Mostly aggressive cards, like... Cleave, I'm not gonna uh, defend here. A cleave and bash, which is really important. We're about to get the bash again. Exactly. 
So he's dead. Next turn, hopefully. Not this turn, I suppose. I'm vulnerable though, so increasing his strength is not a good idea. Uh, if I had only drawn on another strike, he would have been dead. Emerald key? Oh, he moves high impact. But... No. What's down? You couldn't upgrade the twin strike now, could you? Okay. Probably should have defended there, but... You know. Got a little bit gung-ho. It happens. And Cleave next turn kills him. Because Cleave is at the bottom of the deck. I could pick up a perfected strike at this point. I mean, I did remove a single strike, but I did add a twin strike. How much damage is this going to be upgraded? 6 plus uh, 3 per card. So, 12? 15? Plus 21 damage? I mean, I could keep adding strikes, I guess. But I normally don't do perfected strike decks because they're not effective. Or at the very least, to be effective, you need a thick deck. And you generally want to remove all your strikes because they're not that good. If I pick up a... I mean, I currently don't have a card that performs really well. I can pick up a Sword Boomerang, but I don't have any strength generation yet. If I pick up Sword Boomerang, that means I'm going to have to pick up something like a Spot Weakness or an Inflame, then a Limit Break. Yeah, I might pick up Sword Boomerang. So I'm gonna start setting up. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rest here. Not happening. I'm gonna start setting up. This is the same upgraded that does the same damage as Sword Boomerang. Okay, not the same. Almost the same. I wanted to upgrade the um, Sword Boomerang because as soon as you have strength, it starts scaling insanely. Okay, did not get a bash. That's not good. But at least I drew all my defense. Okay, there's the bash. I need to uh, take him down this turn. Yeah, I know, it's not a good split, but I couldn't take the damage. I'm double defending here. Just gonna <clears throat> the weakness down. The weakness is just insane. Yep, this this and remove the slime. Yeah, that thing's gonna keep making me weak. So cleave is not gonna be too effective. Wanna bash here? Well, I mean the best I can do is a single defense. So this is ten. I don't know why I did that. Okay, this is really bad. Yep. Like, speaking of really bad things, I'm dead. Because I can't def I can't even split this thing. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to redo. Eh, only eight minutes in it. It's fine, we'll redo. Okay, I'm glad ascension for it. Let's begin. Obtain, uh, lose all gold for max HP. Yes. That's a really good option. Go for a shop, go for this elite, this rest, this... Ooh, that's a lot of rest and a lot of elites. That's where we're going. Allows me to both upgrade. And I'm gonna play it safe here. Allows me to both upgrade and heal if needed. Uh, the bash would have been insane though. But I would have taken way too much damage. Bash strike does not kill here, so I'm gonna defend, defend, and... That's it. Hmm. Still can't kill. I should have. Oh, never mind. Ignore what I said. Ignore. Just ignore it. Shrug it off. It's a good defensive option. I don't know what I'm doing yet, so picking up a shrug it off might not be a good idea. Gold for HP? Sure, I gave gold for HP, now I'm getting gold for HP. 
And removing a card, get the strike out of there. And I can even remove a card here if I choose to. But I might want to pick up the cleave. Uh, you see a tendency there? I pick up cleaves all the time. Yeah, I know I could have a card removing there, but... Alright. This question mark, it wasn't guaranteed to have a card or a fight in it, so... I need something to um, hit sentries, because we have two elite fights and there is a chance that one of these is going to be the sentry fight. It's not this one, but it could be the next one. And it could have been this one, and if it was this one and it, I didn't pick up the cleave, the... Oh, that's just not good. Uh, he made me vulnerable the first turn, which is... Not that good. It's dead. Strawberry, okay. Battle Trance. Could pick it up. I could pick up the shrug. No, you know what? Don't pick up the shrug at all. You don't need it yet. Battle Trance does have its uses. Matryoshka? Yes! Yeah, I'm going for the rest here. I want to smith. I think smithing is uh, really important. I'm gonna start defense because I'm gonna be removing a lot of the strikes. It's a log of one. Oh! If this was an unupgraded bash, I could bash this turn and open up next turn, but... It's an upgraded bash, so we bash this turn and open this turn. I don't have any setup, so... Oh boy. And yes, this is a DPS race. It's doing way too much damage, though. I should battle trans. He's gonna do 20, but... Yeah, I'm gonna block only for 8. Bash, battle trans, see what we get. Cleave, yes, that's what I want it. Okay, I might have lethal. 13 plus 7 is not enough. Neither is this, by the way, but it gets me closer, so. Okay, it's dead now. Shuriken, okay. Uh, we are gonna pick up a Thunderclap. It's really important. Not gonna rest here yet, gonna... What, I, what is the boss fight? Okay. I'm gonna smith up the Thunderclap. It's extra AoE. Regardless where I go, I have two fights ahead of me, so... Come on, Thunderclap Cleave would've been insane here. Well, I can kill one and fully defend, so... Yeah. Lucky me! Should battle trance. Can ba... Ooh! It says 11. It's not 11. Okay, it's dead. Uh, I might be running a strength de deck again. This is 10. Oh, 1 HP, really? I want to feed. So I'm gonna save it. The uh, thing is, though, Cleave kills both of them. I'm just gonna kill this one, leave that one. I should get feed in the next hand, if not I'm gonna get battle trance at the very least. Did. Did not get feed though. Eh, we'll get it next hand though, guaranteed. There it is. And there's a feed. I do wanna get a bit more max HP. Now, I don't need to really smith up anything so I'm just gonna go for the safe bet. Don't wanna die to Slime King again. Slime boss! Oh, I keep calling him king, but he's actually a slime boss, apparently. I'm gonna save that just before he splits. Okay, so battle trance. Bash, flee. It's the best damage we can do. I need... yep, three strikes, that's what I wanted. Just so I can get the extra strength, now we use the attack potion. Immolate's gonna be insane here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Plus, it's a lot of damage. And it's AoE. If I get Cleave and Immolate in the same hand, they're dead. I didn't. Uh, now, I, the thing is that I can't set up for Cleave and Immolate just by defending. 
Or a thunderclap on light. It's gonna be fine. Uh, by just defending, I mean not fully defending. Perfecting uh, is not the point of ascension. The point of ascension is to actually win. I could go for a demon form. It's sort of hard to. It's hard to play though. It's hard to play. But I could go for it. No, I already have strength generation. I just need. Well, a single inflame is gonna be enough, then a limit break. And then flame is far easier to get out. So I'm gonna take the offer. Mark a pain. Definitely mark a pain, right? Not running a thin deck, so mark of pain isn't that bad. Yep, taking it. I need the extra energy and Philosopher's Stone could kill me. Even though they buffed it a little bit, it still can kill me. Okay, so three question marks, elite fight. Rest, rest, elite fight. And the late chop as well if I choose to, or I could go for an extra rest, we'll see. But yeah, that's the way to go. Oh boy. This is not good. He's attacking on the he always attacks on the first turn, so can only bash. The extra energy though, it's make it, it's gonna make this fight a lot easier. I can use the offering here. Battle trance. I did not get a lot of strikes. I do want to save the feed though. I'm gonna save the feed. Hopefully I get to feed. I get to munch on them. So, bash, thunderclap, cleave will probably kill. I'm gonna, I'm gonna waste some HP looking for the clay for the feed. I'm just setting it up. Come on, where is it? It's 16. Yep. I think it's worth it, sometime. Should pick up Sword Boomerang. I'm picking a lot of moving parts basically at this point. I'm not picking up... Uh, ooh. I don't want to lose any of these. So no, sorry in Loth. I normally like his uh, Relic though. Is this a shop before a shop, really? Yeah, it's a shop before a shop. No, it's not. No, it's not. Hmm. Anchor is really good. First of all, we card remove. We don't need all these strikes, we card remove. We're not picking up anything, so... Yeah. We might go to... This is a shop before a shop. I got confused there. Hmm... Out of all these cards, I don't need any of them. I mean, Red Skull isn't bad with high max HP, but... I... Nope, not a defend. Remove a strike. We have a lot of aggressive cards. So, remove a strike. Oh, please don't. Please don't give me a bad face. Uh, start each combat with one week. Uh, it gave me the worst face it could have given me. This is really bad. I'm gonna need to get... Uh, clockwork souvenir or something. I could have done so much damage this round. There's no point in defending for 5 there. I'd rather get the extra strength. Okay, so we offering, we battle trance. And we start playing a bunch of cards. I'm not gonna be able to feed here, so I'm gonna use it. So I can use Sword Boomerang a lot more effectively. Yes, could have played 3 defense there. I'd rather get the damage out at this point. That's that good. I have a lot of wounds in my deck. I'm gonna use the this potion. Yep, it's a bit better. Extra defense. Okay, that's not good. I don't even have a fire potion or anything. So we can. Now I'm gonna draw all wounds at one point, so. Good thing I didn't. Magic flower, okay. This raises our healing by a lot, so it's insane. Do I need pommel strike? No. Yeah, double rest before the elite, that's where we're going. Sword boomerang? I should upgrade the sword boomerang. Now I need... Limit break. 
Definitely need a lemon break. Really, I didn't get Thunderclap or Cleave. I can bring this one down. Defend against one of them and... Uh, not using the feed, not yet. Hmm. I want to get a bit more max HP. Thunderclap. Glaive. I need to offering, don't I? Yeah, I do. Otherwise, I'm taking a bunch of damage. So I'd rather deal the damage to myself. And take both of these suckers down. Now they're both down. Now I just need to kill one of them. Because I'm planning on having a feed next turn. Yep. There it is not. So next turn feed. There it is. Entropic brew, sure. More sword boomerang? No. We don't need any more. We're good. We're good on sword boomerangs. Omamori, nunchucks, yes. Here we start upgrading the defense. We haven't picked up a single defensive card, so we need to upgrade them. And I really badly need Clockwork Orange. Souvenir, sorry. Yes, I have Clockwork. I said Clockwork Orange, okay. I know what I said. I would normally offering and continue here, but I don't need to because I'm weakened. So I'm just gonna... Should I pop the Artifact Team Potion? What's the boss fight? Collector, so I'm gonna save the Artifact Team Potion. I'm gonna take a bit of damage here. It's fine. Double striking there with the weakness, it, it's not gonna kill anything. Even without it though, it's still not gonna kill. Okay, slave, backline slaver is gonna entangle me, so that's not good. I could, yeah, I should probably Artifact Team Potion. Let's see what this gives me. I was really hoping for fruit juice, honestly. I could save the liquid bronze for hopefully act for. But I'm drawing the Sneko. Oh wait, that did it removed my artifacting and drew cards. Okay, yep. Sh should have thought about that. Should have thought about that. Now I can't do anything. I can only defend. And this is the turn I got my cleave. So, oh, I'm taking extra damage though because of a stupid mistake I made. I don't even have Pentagraph. 15? Yeah, should bash. This is not good. Not at all. Not dead yet, but I will be soon. This one at least is dead. Thing is though, I'm dead this turn. That's 22 and I have... Uh, far less. Today's Ascension is not going well. Like, seriously, it's, it's not going well. Must be New Year's or something. You, know, you, you never know. Oh, this is not good. Not at all. I don't know. Should we continue? Shouldn't we continue? Well, we are going to continue. Tina Chris for two random colorless card. No, we're gonna get the three potion. Then we got food juice and a strength potion. And the fire potion. So let's see where we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna go super aggressive now because this game is annoying me. It's not letting me win. Hmm, this path is not that good. I was thinking around here, but might go this way. Has a, has a bunch of rest for upgrades. No shop. No guaranteed shop at the very least. But. Didn't even uh, see if I was going to kill it there, but I just decided to attack it. Can't kill it, so I'm just going to play it safe. It's dead. Flex. We're going to go super aggressive. We're just going to go max all out aggression. Oh boy. Oh, it doesn't matter because two strikes kills one of them, bash and a strike kills one of them, but not the others. So. I'm gonna pick up clashes, yes. 
I know clashes are not that good, but I'm gonna still pick him up. Now a body slam gets offered, really. Hmm, sword boomerang. I do pick up a lot of sword boomerang. More max HP, sure. The game is giving me a lot of max HP. I have no idea uh, what I was thinking there. It was The answer was obvious, a single defense and two strikes. Bash or Boomerang? On one HP, really? Battle, yeah, Battle Trans. You can see a trend here. Uh, not gonna transform a card. Could have. I don't know why I didn't, but I could have. Here we upgrade the flex. Lagavulin, okay. Mm, I should open this turn, yeah. That was a lot of damage. I'm even gonna throw this down. Really? I mean, they're just gonna defend them. Hmm. Thing is, though, no flex, no vulnerability. So. Well, I can't really defend anyway, I don't know what I'm thinking. Just single defend and do as much damage as you can. Okay. Bash strike. Set up for next turn, hopefully. Yep, here's the next turn. Not the best next turn, but it's gonna be lethal, so, you know. Vajra, okay, yep. This settles it. I'm definitely going 100% aggressive. Now I just need a single limit break. Or two of them, you know, just cycle them. That's a lot of damage. If I strike him now, can I transform him? Uh, I need to do math. That's gonna be 33, yes. And the answer is yes! Oh wait, I can't kill this way. Oops! Should've defended, now I'm weakened. Come on, flex. Oop, no flex. Hmm. Oh, it, you hit the wrong target, bud. But, you know, it's fine. I'm getting really weakened and I'm getting really annoyed by the weaknesses. Nope. Defend. There's the flex I was looking for. Ancient Potion, is it better than... Yeah, it might be. Seriously, none of these. Come on, give me something good. I mean, Regal Pillow isn't bad. I'm not going for the heart, no. Ew boy. Uh, probably the worst fight I could've gotten here. Yes, it's worth the, worse than the boss fight. Why is it worse than a boss fight? Because as soon as I use Flex, he does a lot more damage. Why does he open up with vulnerability? He doesn't need to open up with the Skull Bash. Dreamcatcher? Okay. Rage. Let me go for another late. We are definitely going for another late. Upgrade Rage. I actually want to remove the Bash and uh, take a trip around the world in 80 days. Possibly. I actually want to take damage. Is this my last fight? No, it's not. Okay, that's good. Nope, nope, not a normal strike. We need a sword boom right. Liquid bro. Am I taking a feed? I might take a feed. Okay, so I need to take a bit of damage here. I need to be below 20-ish. So I'm taking this 10, yeah. I actually need to take more than uh, 50 damage. Flex. Battle trans. No, I need to take this damage. So I'm gonna split my damage. I need to take the damage so that Hexaghost will not do as much damage to me. I can actually feed this turn. I'm gonna feed on this guy. 
Get some max HP. So now I just need to take damage. A little bit more and I'll be fine. This is not gonna kill anything. I'm just setting them up at this point. Seven? Yep, they're both set up, so now I just pass turns until I wanna kill them. Now I wanna kill them when I'm below 60. Yep. Hit me. Hit me, baby. I wanna get hit again, don't I? Yeah, I do. But I don't want any more dazes, so we're dead. I'm gonna basically be at 16. At 12, sorry. Math. When you're not good at it. Math. Oh boy. Okay, do I want spot weakness? I mean, I already have strength, I just need a limit break. Thunderclap is really good, I don't have any AoE. I mean, Sword Boomerang is not technically AoE. I'm gonna take the Thunderclap. Okay, this is a fight, which is really bad. I should battle transfers. I was really hoping for a flex or a defensive card there. Well, I can kill one of them, so I should. Can I kill the other one? Yes, I can. It's gonna be slightly short of lethal, which is exactly what we want, so we can feed. Uh, do I want twin strikes? Disarm is great versus Hexaghost, especially if I can get early on, but I don't want to pick up a single card, which is gonna be effective against a single boss. Because on the next floor we might have the champ, and that'll mean that that's not going to be effective. Or the collector. Or the... actually, any second floor boss is not going to be really affected by this harm. Oh, this is a good opening. Am I going to use the liquid bronze? Probably, because we're not... We're, you know, likelihood we're not going to go towards the... Um, and boss, towards the heart boss. Am I using the dex? I mean, regardless of what I'm doing, I'm... Uh, I don't need to use the dex this turn because I'm not gonna defend this turn. Yes, I used the feed there. Not planning on feeding on this boss. Come on, flex. Did not get flex. Will bash, definitely will bash. Question is, do I want to take 6 damage in order to deal a lot more? Yes. Okay. Flex, Rage, Thunderclap, and yeah, sure, double defend. I'm fully defended, that's why I'm not using the Dex Potion yet. I'm gonna use it if I need to, not before. You see, fully defended. The burns are gonna start being an issue, soon. I'm gonna take 2 damage, I'm fine with it. Should bash, shouldn't I? Yeah, should. Didn't Sword Boomerang there? Yes, I know. I'm... I'm just preparing for next turns. Might have to use the... that's 16, I'm gonna block for 10. We're, we're fine. No! I forgot I have only this much energy. I'm still alive, barely. It's not good. Okay, it's dead, so. I miscalculated there. The mistake almost cost me. Might take an exhum. What do I exhaust, really? I mean, a single feed, which I don't intend to bring back, so I'm not gonna take it. Mark a pen again. Hmm. Do I take Mark of Pain? Yes. Kursky is... I might get Gidea from one of the chests, which is gonna make my life so much better. So, I want an early shop. I want a late shop. I want many shops, but I want a couple of rests as well on the path. This one has only one. If I go here, I can go rest, elite. Possibly second elite. Or I could go for this rest, these two elites. Yeah, that might be my path. So yeah, let's go this way. It's a really bad opening fight. You couldn't give me a better fight now, could you? Okay, I need to double defend. So am I feeding? Yes. 
not gonna wait around for these guys to leave so that I could just use a single feed. Well, would you look at that? Not a single defend in sight. Now you decide to leave, really? Well, it should be dead. Hopefully. It is. Heavy light. I still haven't picked up a limit break. Plus, limit break with only one strength is... Uh, oh boy. It takes time, basically. So, heavy blade, by the time Heavy Blade is effective, I'm either not alive or I need to have killed, so... Yes, that doesn't mean that I... Uh, that skipping the spot weakness was a mistake. I do not want to run spot weakness at the moment. I'm gonna use this here. Uh, it's just because the next fight is actually a, a lot harder and I'm not gonna be able to use the uh, defend potion. So, Rage, Flex... Good thing I picked up the Rage. It's really good. Needed to kill the back line there. Yep, there's a bash. Can't kill though, which is really bad. Should have double defended. I'm using the artifacting potion in the next fight. And yes, I am going into the next fight. I don't care that it can kill me. I'm not skipping this fight. It says cowardice. I'm not. I'm not a coward. Sorry, but I'm not a coward. Kill the back one. Quickly, as soon as possible. That was a bunch of damage per turn, so happy with it. Now, I use the artifact team potion there just so I can single flex. That's it, that's the only thing I'm using and I'm taking a lot of damage. Um, I have to battle trance here. Okay, that saved me a lot of HP, so I'm happy with it. And I even got a feed off! You're, you were surprised there, weren't you? I lucked out. By a lot. I used the artifacting potion there in the hopes that it would either prevent vulnerability early on, or that I'd get a flex. And I got a flex first, so... I, I should rage, shouldn't I? I should rage. It's way too much defense. Then re Ice Cream, Letter Opener, I might actually take Shrug it off here. Upgraded, it's a lot of defense. Heal 33, yes. I know I'm looking for a limit break, but healing is important, I'm inbound for another lead. I'm, I'm still not taking Spot Weakness, okay? I'm not taking Spot Weakness. I might take Tiny Chest though. Card removal. I Look, I need to remove cards. I know I'm removing strikes and I said I'm going aggressive. Panacea has a use in this deck. You'd be surprised, but it does. Well, Panacea can be picked up instead of an Inflame if you have a Flex or instead of a Spot Weakness. And it's better because uh, it provides defense against several things. For example, weakness, early weakness, all early vulnerability. Confusion, constriction, there's a lot of things that it can provide defense against. There's a reason it's a utility card. I'm gonna pick it up. I need to upgrade it, but it's gonna happen here. It needs to be upgraded. And if it gets two flexes out, that's insane. You know, getting two flexes out, that's extra strength from it. Wait a minute, what happened there? Where did my panacea go? Oh, the battle trance. Okay, that explains a lot. I should bash here. I mean, I have energy, so... Just do as much damage as possible. Okay, so do not battle trance if you want to flex. It's 15. It's only 15. I still need to use it, don't I? Oh, there is a chance of me drawing it next turn. D don't care about drawing it next turn. I need to kill next turn. There's the flex. A bit too late, but there, there it is. Don't need entrench or clothesline. Okay. Eh, this fight. This fight. It's not that bad. So, 
Yeah, we need to rage. I cannot feed on minions, by the way. You used to be able to a very long time ago, but they added this minion buff, debuff, whatever you want to call it. Minion Minions abandon combat without their leader, and you cannot feed on them anymore. If it if this kills a non-minion enemy, raise your max HP by 3. So this is a minion. This has to kill a non-minion enemy. You see where I'm going with it? I should still probably use it. I don't want to be weakened, so... Yeah. That app. Okay, there's the panacea. Note to self. Do not use battle trance until you use flex. Uh, not a flex in sight. I'm just single defending here, striking the back line. Not striking the mad gremlin unless I can kill it because it increases its strength every time you strike it. There's the flex I want to add. It's not dead, which is a surprise. You see, now it did. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of mad gremlins. Well, at least one of them died. All three of them died. The leader has chosen not to attack yet, so that's really good on. Really good for me. Really good for me. Is he weakened? No, he's not. He's almost dead. Okay, now he's choosing to attack, but I have lethal, so. <laughs> you know. He chose the wrong time to attack, bud. Or a Calcum could be good. I do need some AoE, but. It does scale with strength, whirlwinds. What's the boss fight? Collector. I could use the AoE, I'm gonna pick it up. Okay, here I need to upgrade Panacea. That's why I picked it up. I picked it up with the thought that it would have two artifacting. Not one, but two. I was hoping you draw it there. Okay, good, you hit the back line a couple of times. 21 defense, that's really nice. If I, got, if I had gotten a rage there, it would have been even better. Okay, so first we battle trance, then we panacea. I don't want to waste uh, artifacting on the battle trance. Bash feed kills this one. And start working on the other one. Alright, this guy applies weakness, I forgot. Whirlwind is... It's enough to kill the front line? No, it's not. Oh yeah, it is, because it's gonna be 7 or 8 damage, but it will not kill the back one. So I'm gonna single defend at the very least. It's the best defense I can push out, so... Probably should've killed. Probably should've killed. That's a lot of wounds you're giving me. It's way too many wounds. Medical kit would not go amiss in this deck. Potion belt, okay. Eh, I was hoping for medical kit, but... Yeah, I, I know medical kit is a shop-only item, by the way. I know that. I'm not picking up any of these. Don't need them. Don't care about them. Singing bowl. That's some extra max HP. I don't need the operations. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die without them. Lose all your gold, that's not happening. Have you seen how much gold I have? I'm not giving you my gold. Okay. So, Panacea Rage. Orland is 24 damage. It's not enough to kill. I need to kill Bear. I want to feed, but I, I need to kill Bear. I probably should have just played Whirlwind. Should have just played Whirlwind. Alright, I have Panacea. So Bear is not as effective. But Sword Boomerang is. Yep. Red Mask. I actually want seeing red. I do because I have ice cream. Normally I wouldn't pick up seeing red because you need to upgrade it before it's actually effective, but I have ice cream, so seeing red is insane. 
Let's uh, remove the confusion. I don't like this confusion. I'm actually doing nothing here. I'm just saving. Saving energy. This is what I wanted. That's what I got. There's a seeing red. Might as well use it this turn. Shouldn't have defended or Calcum was better defense there. Uh, shrug it off first. Okay. That's a lot of damage. And I'm fully defended. Okay, yeah. I can fully defend uh, just by striking. Strength potion, okay. Uh, normally, I wouldn't take anything, so... I didn't. Sundial. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going for the act per boss. So. Sorry, N not this episode. This episode has been already 45 minutes long, it's gonna go at least 20 more minutes, so... It's not happening? Should Panacea, shouldn't I? Yeah. Definitely should. I can bring it... I Sorry, I could have brought it to the ground. Didn't want to because... Uh, feed might have a use, even though at this point when I have Singing Ball I don't really need Feed. Flex first. I'm not gonna use Battle Transfer. Sorry. Not happening. Yes, it is because uh, I didn't want to remove my artifacting, but <laughs> taking that much damage is. Uh, ooh, it's uh, not me. It's not like me to take that much damage. I don't need to rage. I'll just use the whirlwind. It's almost dead. Soon to be. Yeah, it's dead now. I don't need cleave. Don't need armaments. I should rest here. Collector, there is a chance that the Collector kills me. It's a small one. Plus I get max HP! So dream, Dreamcatcher did have a use after all. Mostly for max HP, but it did have a use. Okay, I'm, I'm sad I didn't get the... Uh, should I use the Strike Potion? I'm sad I didn't get the uh, Panacea Flex combo. I'm really sad I didn't get it again. Might as well use this. And I'm using the block potion here. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can get the combo now. We did not. And I couldn't even kill one of them. Which is really sad. Good thing I have a lot of max HP. And at this point, my energy is so much that a single whirlwind is gonna kill them at full HP. I mean, I should strike the collector first, shouldn't I? Yeah, it's more damage. I don't need to waste all my energy, but I want these two, two dead. I want them gone. I haven't gotten a single limit break, by the way. I'm currently working off Panacea Flex. Oh, he's doing 31. I need to bash Sword Meringue. It's way too much damage. I shouldn't have defended there. Or Calcum has 6 defense, I defended there for 3, which is really bad. So basically what I'm trying to say is, uh, do as I say, not as I do. Should have raged, but didn't really need to. Didn't need to play to shrug it off there, I... Making a lot of rookie mistakes. Uh, Whirlwind... Actually, it doesn't matter, a single strike kills the collector, so... Off rank. Definitely off rank. I, do I need extra energy? Mm. I need limit break, otherwise I'd take this. I could... Take the astrolabe and transform strikes and see what I get. I, that's strikes I really don't need. I got, I got a cleave, which is better than a strike, and I got an uppercut, which is really good. It's basically an improvement to my bash, so... Armaments, not so much, but eh, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be the Ooh, Dolan Deck and I have a feed. You know, I never did get that achievement. Get a feed on Donu. Oh, Donu. Okay, so we want two shops here. This one. And the second shop, I guess. Hmm. I can have two from here. And a bunch of elites if I choose to, so that's where I'm gonna go. 
This allows me to double card remove. I have 600 gold, so. Where's my panacea? I guess no panacea. I guess we're just killing. I'm gonna take a bit of damage, but I will kill, so. I think that's more important. Don't need any of these. Mm, would get a second flax if it was upgraded. I'm gonna get incense burner probably. First, I should card remove the armaments. I don't need it. Second, I'm getting the incense burner and I'm saving my gold for the next shop. I really do need a limit break. Yes, I'm actually gonna give you something really good. Am I? I was thinking of giving it uppercut, but or or the cleave. But I don't really need to. Could give it a thunderclap. I have two ways to apply vulnerability at this point. I really wanted the max HP, but I don't want to give it offering or feed. I'm just gonna give it the bash. I don't need the bash anymore. I have an upgraded uppercut that's better than an unupgraded bash, so yeah. Okay. Am I defending here? Yes. At least once. The rest is damage. I picked up Incense Burner because it might allow me to get the achievement Odonu. Which... If I get a Limit Break, I can easily get that achievement. I just need to play Flex Panacea once and then just Limit Break once or twice and it's, it's enough. I will not lose HP. No, yes, I will lose HP, even if I play this. There's a Rage. She's gonna defend me this turn. Can I feed? No. I really wanted to feed there. I was so hungry. I, I guess I'm just killing. I don't want to stall against this enemy. Second Rage? Uh, the deck is thick enough, I'm gonna pick it up. Oh, this enemy I hate. I really do. I really hate this enemy. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Uh, cleave? Okay, we're leaving it at 12. I just need to... Double rage, single defend, really? It's a 20 card deck, come on. And this is what I wanted. Panacea Flux. I'm just gonna use this. I'm actually not gonna use Battle Trance here. It didn't need to defend, I had our Calcum, but sure. I wasted one energy there. Okay, this is what I wanted to happen. Double Flux. Um, that was worse. That was a lot worse. Should not have attacked there. Okay, battle trance now. Double rage. Uppercut. We don't want this effect. This effect puts a curse in us. In our deck. Really, you didn't die. Attack potion, sure. More flex. It's upgraded. I might consider taking it. This deck is already already has a lot of flexes in it. I'm gonna take it. And here, we are upgrading the Whirlwind. It's actually gonna be really useful in the final fight. So is all these smooth stone, in fact. No limit break again. Not gonna card reveal it. All these smooth stone. Okay. We are smithing up the Seeding Red now. Some of our deck does exhaust, so it's not effectively a 20 card deck. Jizu Bracelet, sure. I'm going for a double elite fight, but sure, Jizu Bracelet is fine. Panacea Shrug. I'm hoping for a, one of the two flexes in my deck, really. Uh, I shouldn't use it yet. I mean, when am I going to if I don't use it yet? Close line is really good. Should have defended there. Uh, well, at the very least, I got double flex. And he's not attacking this turn, so. I don't need to attack this turn. 
I'm only gonna do one damage. I don't have the boots, so... Okay. That's a lot of damage. That's 250 damage, by the way. That's a lot of damage. Yep, take the max HP. I need the max HP at this point. Fight for a relic, sure. This is a really bad fight. I believe I can take it. Give me Panacea, please. You chose not to give me Panacea. There it is. Now look at look what's gonna happen. Double flex, seeing red, whirlwind. This kills insanely. Or I could try to go for a feed. Let's try to go for a feed. Nope. Just kill. Bird face turn? Sure. Uh, none of these. I mean, how many powers do I play? None? None. Offering first. I need my AoE. Then Battle Trance. There's my AoE. Sure, Sword Boomerang. I don't need to defend. Or play the feed yet. Panacea Flex? Uppercut. Shrug. Oh, really? You drew a defend. Well, I'm taking a better damage here. Double Rage. Flex Whirlwind. Uh, do I need to defend? No, I do not. Old coin, that's a lot of gold. Hopefully I get a shop. Am I taking the max HP? Yes. Uh, nope, I can't get a shop here. Ah, oh, that's really bad. I'm gonna end the game with like 500, 550 plus gold. I wanna shrink it off here, don't I? Yeah, sure. I don't need to rage, but I'm gonna do it. Okay. I did not get Panacea here. Which is not that good. I mean, that was still a bunch of damage, but... I'm using that for the extra defense. Just so I can fully defend myself. Oop, I'm intangible, that's really nice. Yeah, I might as well use this. No longer intangible. Really? Oh, there's no point in playing anything. Weakness is about to wear off. Weakness just wore off, which is insane. Uh, that's still not enough to kill, though. It's gonna do a lot of damage, don't get me wrong, but it's not enough to kill. Uh, yeah, now I have lethal. Blood potion? Sure. Mm, I might actually take the extra seeing red. At this point I have ice cream, so... It's only a negative the first time I draw it. Afterwards it's just positive. And I'm going for the elite. I'm, I'm not gonna use the blood potion yet. Might come in handy, you never know. I uh, should have uppercut it first. That was a mistake on my part. So he's intangible, he's about to attack. Yeah, 15. 15 because he's weakened, by the way. I'm um, sure, double rage. I guess I am playing a couple of attacks at least. Fully defended, don't need to play anything else. And now I'm intangible and I just draw Penacea and double flex. I don't need to play to defend because I'm intangible. Now he's intangible, so I'm not playing anything now, am I? Yeah, I'm not. Come on, Bash Whirlwind. Well, this is... Uh, this is lethal. <laughs> With 19 energy, it's lethal. Do I pick up a second sword? No. Max HP is gonna be important. Here we rest. And... Yeah. 
If bloodletting was upgraded, I might have picked it up. But. Okay, so let's try and get the, the dono achievement. DDD dono achievement. Uh, artifacting is nice. Remove theirs. So I just need to feed on dono. I have... Uh, I don't have panacea active. I mean, I have one artifacting, so I'm going to use one flex. Let's see red. Let's uh, thin out our hand a little bit because this is going to draw three cards. We want to draw a Panacea. We did not draw a Panacea. Still did not draw a Panacea. Hmm. Defend first. Battle Trans draws three, so we're fine. There it is. I want to keep my strength. This is going to be without limit break, so... I have double rage, right? I'm fully defended. And I have some energy left over, so... This is going to be uh, 12 HP. Might as well use it now. Okay, three flexes activated. That's really fine. This is going to be lethal on Donu, so I don't want to use it. I want to use the feed on Donu. So basically, I'm sacrificing a bit of damage. Actually, I'm sacrificing winning here. So, I want you to know, if I do fail, it's not because of me, it's because of you. It's because I, you want me to get that achievement. So. I'm intangible, so it doesn't matter. Let's shrug it off first. Okay, Battle Trance. So flex, thunderclap, uppercut is 45 damage, setting him up for a feed. Yes, set him up. Do not do any AoE. I need to watch the letter opener. Very carefully, that's why I'm not gonna play the third defend. I know I can use letter opener twice without him dying, but just in case, I might forget. So... I'm happy to take the 30 damage here. You know what? Just, just do the damage to me. As soon as I get feed, I haven't used feed yet. It's more than fine. So we flex. Battle trance. It's 40 damage. We're about to get the achievement. Yep, we got it. Now I can just kill. Not this turn, but I'm gonna kill. We got the achievement. I'm not really worried anymore, I, I, got, I got what I wanted, you know. Eh. Got the achievement, which is kinda nice. It's really nice. 1047. Achievement, uh, Ascension Mode 5 unlock. You know, uh, I know you don't see when the Steam pops up because uh, that's... It's better if you don't. I did just get it. Where, where was the Compendium, right? No, not Compendium. Uh, statistics. Character stats, right? Yep, there it is. Should be... There it is. No, nah, not that one. Finish Donu with a feed. We just got it. We just got it! Uh, I didn't have it, by the way. I've had... Most of these I've had. Uh, this is one of the few achievements I haven't had. Haven't had uh, on me on my other account, by the way. Haven't had Ascension 15. This used to be 15, I believe. Why am I wrong? Uh, this one I've done several times. It's really easy, especially if you have unceasing top. You need unceasing top. This one. I don't remember when I got it. That should really be a date. That would have been really nice. Like I know in the Steam uh, page there is a date when you got them, but. Hmm. Anyway, you know what? We're gonna ponder on that a little bit. My name has been Rampant Mystic. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Slay the Spire, even though it was kinda long, but if you did go through the end though, it was a nice surprise. We did a 2-in-1, got to Ascension 5, and fed on Donu, which, which is an extra achievement. You know what? Thank you all for watching. Have a good year.